Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Shanice, your favorite Saint Lucian girl, and I'm back at you with another story time. I know you guys love and enjoy my story times, so why not just give you another one, huh? This story time is going to be about the time I got my first job and it was a funny story. It happened very strangely and I did not expect it. So if you'd like to hear this story time, keep on watching. Hi friends and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time, welcome. Before you leave, don't forget to smash that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell. So today's video is going to be yet another story time. I noticed that my subscribers, my viewers really enjoy my story times. So I'm back with another one. This story time is going to be about how I got my first job. So after leaving school, a lot, a lot of people like send out applications, they apply for jobs and stuff like that. But that wasn't the case for me. What happened is that um, after I left school, it was a Friday and I was supposed to meet a friend of mine in town, right? So let's name that friend Susie. So I was supposed to meet Susie in town on that Friday and on my way to town I called Susie and mind you, I never knew Susie had an interview or anything like that. I just knew that I was supposed to be meeting Susie in town. So she was like, oh, I'm at an interview. Um, can you meet me there? So she told me she was having the interview at Super J. What, if you are in San Lucia, what you know as Massey right now. In the time, there was Super J. So I won't say what location or whatever, but I met her at Super J. And what happened is that I was outside waiting on her because I don't know what's going on inside there. She's at, at an interview and I wouldn't want to like distract her or whatever. So she called me asking where, where I was and stuff. So I told her I was outside. She came outside and told me like, you know, I could, I could come into the office. So I went, I was sitting, actually, sitting outside the office while she was having an interview. So the manager came out asking if I was there for the interview. Now, I said no, because I wasn't. I know a lot of you thinking like, I'm dumb, I'm stupid, I'm retarded, right? For saying no. But at the same time, that's the manager. I'm certain that he would already have a list of people that he called in for the interview. And my name would not have been on that list. So why would I have said yes? So I said no. So he's like, you know what? Um, do you mind taking the interview? I mean, like, you're here already, so just take the interview. You kind of have nothing to lose. So I'm like, sure. So he brought me into the office, and would you imagine my friend and I had two interviews at once. Like, he interviewed both of us together and gave us, like, a, a, it's a math exam because the vacancy was, like, to be on cash to work with the money so I did that and I can I got all correct my friend got one wrong but he gave her the opportunity to redo it so that she could get it um, the man literally told us that he would call us the following week for our account numbers and our information and that we basically got the job so the following week he called me I gave him my bank account information Assuming that my friend, who was the one that had the interview in the first place, would have done that, right? Wrong. So I started work. It was like Christmas vacation, like December, late November, December. So I started work and the manager would be asking me, where is my friend? Please ask her to send in her information so that she could start work as well. I worked for the entire Christmas season. She never gave her information. She never got the job. Um, at the job was a part-time job for the Christmas vacation. However, they evaluated all the Christmas staff and I guess January they called everybody back in. 
so they called me back in and I got the job permanently and my friend was yet to bring in her information all she needed to do was get her bank her bank account number whatever so that they she could get paid she never did that so i kind of feel like that was trifling because that was actually her interview and i got a job but hey but the job was literally given to both of us it was just up to us to do our part and whatever but yeah that was how easy i got my first job um, it was not expected, I didn't apply for it or anything, it just kind of came. So I just believe like whatever is there for you in life, like you're gonna get it no matter what. <laughs> After that, that's my beliefs. And yeah, that was how I got my first job. If you enjoyed this <laughs> little story time, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, may as well give it a thumbs down or click off this video. And that was it for my video guys. And I'll see you in my next one. Right now.